Today we're taking a look at one of my favorite Afrites from the Redline Tactical Card Combat Core Set. This is the United Nation of Earth LGT3 Lightning. Um, so, a little bit of a story on this. Um, when this Afrite was designed, um, I think I gave our designer instructions to kind of make a, a fugly looking Afrite. Uh, something that was kind of just not sexy. <laughs> and so that's what the Lightning is. It's real stumpy. Uh, it's not super aggressive looking. Um, it's kind of um, um, it, it's kind of ugly in a good way, right? And uh, you know that's kind of you know, we, we just wanted a free that wouldn't wouldn't be sleek and sexy, something on the other end of the spectrum. And I think it came out pretty well. But um, as you can see, this is definitely a utility a free again. It's not going to win any fashion awards, but it does a lot of work. It's definitely. Um, Probably one of the maybe I'd say maybe, um, maybe undervalued of freets in in the game, just because it does so much, right? For only two, you get an free with a good amount of armor. So early game, this can trade hits easily with other light and some medium of freets and keep on going. Low attack and low speed. So like I said, it's not flashy, but it can take some hits. The cover ability is very useful actually. So in combat, if one of your squad mates was going to get hit. You can basically expend this guy and he'll jump in front and take the hit for them. That's why he's got the higher armor cost. So basically you can um, negate an enemy attack on one of your better Afrites and redirect the damage to the lightning and it can soak it up. So it's kind of like maybe think of it like a tank or, or shield in some other games you may play. Um, very useful ability. You may not realize how useful it is until you save one of your better guys from getting killed with that cover ability and the bottom ability is very useful too so the, you win the game by capturing missions and the lightning is very good so you get a plus one to your capture rolls so it's just going to be easier for this guy to go and take missions early on or you can get a little boost later in the game by adding one to your squad's total capture roll anyway he's just going to make it easier to, ca to capture missions and eventually make the uh, you know win the game for you by capturing the the red line the five missions in play that make up the the mission map for every single game. So a lot of use for this guy at a very low cost. Not great for combat, but he does a lot of work in a lot of little area, a lot of other areas. And the lightning um, kind of dinky, but really like I said, once you played it and actually use this, uh, you always want at least one lightning in your squad just because it's so utilitarian. So. That's the lightning right there, and uh, like I said, play it, and you'll see just how good it is. Looks are deceiving, the ugly duckling of a freets, but the lightning is is pretty strong actually when you look um, outside of combat.